Cillian. Welcome to my art channel. In this video, I show you how to draw an easy, step-by-step -step picture of polar bears. Enjoy! Here I drew a square in the middle of the page, and I made the basic shapes of the bears, the mother, with the baby cuddled up in her grasp, in the center. Polar bears are really amazing creatures. People find them so interesting that there is an International Polar Bear Day on February 27th, appropriate for the winter since they are animals that live in the Arctic Circle and they rely on snow and ice in order to survive. So you see that the paper is white, which helps to skip the whole uh, putting down white color. And instead of starting with a base color, I am basically putting in the shadows of the spaces between the individual hairs of the polar bear's fur. Just in case you're wondering, polar bears are not white, they're actually black. And you can see that the best near their nose because their nose is black and the area around the nose that has the shortest least amount of fur looks black as well. Their fur is actually made up of, as I once saw in, uh, in a zoo, a bunch of colorless straws that are packed together and since they're right next to each other they look white. If you hold up a bunch of translucent straws next to each other, it will give a white look. So that's how they look white. Also because of reflected sunlight. And they can keep themselves looking white by rolling in the snow after a meal to clean their coats, which is what they do, since a dirty oily coat will not keep them well insulated against the arctic temperatures. So you see all the shadowy areas around the eyes and on top of the head, around the cheeks, under the neck. I put in brown colors. And I did this with a bunch of tiny lines. There's almost no long lines on my picture. Everything is just a bunch of tiny little dots and lines next to each other to give the appearance of the short hairs and the longer hairs. Polar bears are considered marine mammals, just like the seals that they hunt and eat. Just like whales and dolphins. They can live for very long amounts of time in the water just swimming and they, they also float on ice to reach uh, far off places in order to catch their prey, which is mostly seals. Seals have the right amount of fat and other nutrients that, that polar bears need. So they wait above the seals' breathing holes in the ice, and they wait for the seals to come up for air, since mammals need to breathe. They can't stay underwater for too long. And that's when they pounce upon them and catch them. And when they do finally catch their meal, which doesn't happen every single time, they will eat their fill. And if another polar bear finds out that they, they found some dinner, they will come along and ask permission to join. And the way that they ask permission is by slowly coming near and touching the polar bear's nose with their own nose. And that is, the polar bear that is wants to join the meal will touch his nose to the one that is eating to ask for permission to share the meal. So that is their good manners. And you can see those huge paws. They can be up to 30 centimeters across and are 
perfect for walking on ice. Even thin ice, the polar bear will shift its weight and make sure not to crack on the ice when it feels that it's thin. And they're great for paddling. And as I said, polar bears can swim for long amounts of time and their huge paws are great paddles. When I went to the zoo as a kid and we watched the polar bears just swing back and forth and back and forth and not doing anything else, just kept on swimming. It was funny to watch, they had such a small space. They basically just kept the same route millions and millions of times. And they're, they're probably still there doing it, unless they are not around. So the darkest areas are the, the nose, the eyes, and basically all the rest of it is very light. So it's hard to see them against their snowy landscape. But their fur can get dirty with oil buildup and also after a meal. So they do they are in the habit of rolling in snow to clean off their fur. And I put some some yellowish tinge since since they aren't always the purest white and just to give more color to the picture add some background yellow but mostly I used warm grays and different shades of brown and of course black to get the desired effect in my picture and for the icy background I used more cool gray colors and blue since the light shining off the ice gives it a bluish tinge. And this one, she's keeping her cub nice and cozy. Polar bear mothers take care of their cubs, up to three of them, born at a time, and they teach them how to hunt and take care of them until they're independent. They're very solitary animals otherwise. They don't spend much time with others unless it's a mother and her cubs. Thanks for watching and check out my other drawing videos!